फ्रेंड्स वी हैव केस ऑफ अल्सरेटिव कोलाइटिस यंग बॉय ही स्टेड इन अ विलेज 150 किलोमीटर्स अवे फ्रॉम बॉम्बे नॉर्मली दैट वुड हैव टेकन थ्री आवर्स टू रीच टू बॉम्बे they took 8 hours of the journey to reach to bombay because every 10 to 15 minutes they had to stop the car he would be carried he would pass the stool again carry back to the car and that is how the whole process would go on he was so weak he was not able to walk he had to be carried by two or three people when he came to bombay he was admitted in one of the nursing home here we have the advantage in india we could admit the patient in a proper nursing home with proper facilities and we can treat them he could not walk there was a swelling of the knees so along with the ulcerative colitis even the knees were involved he was in such a miserable condition he had to be given a bed pan whenever he wanted to pass the stool during the interview it was observed that he had a constant pain which was better by mild gentle rubbing mother was continuously rubbing if mother stopped rubbing he would put his own hand and start rubbing stools 20 to 25 in a day had to rush to toilet has to contract anus in order to control the urge otherwise involuntary urination pain is aggravated after passing stool there is a aggravation during the stool three marks severe pain loose motions very sticky difficult to flush greenish black frothy sticky bloody associated with blood and mucus diagnosed as ulcerative colitis difficulty in walking right leg is swollen difficulty in using right leg right knee joint swelling plus 3 the knees were hot and tender to touch this was followed by high grade fever he was hospitalized and the leg was put in plaster and immobilized continuous corticosteroids were given in the village he developed swelling of the face legs throughout the body see the side effects the whole body got swollen symptomatically he was better for 6 months the treatment continued for almost 5 years after 5 years again, again the symptoms reappeared see friends just a symptomatic relief we say that treat the cause and treat the expressions so what we do so the treatment with steroid was a symptomatic treatment but the main immunological changes were not handled so the cause never got all right and the symptoms never disappeared there was mark burning very tender to touch and the trouble shifted from right side to the left knee now understand the beautiful evolution of lycopodium beautiful evolution this followed by involvement of the joints hands and there was difficulty in picking anything both the homeopathic and ayurvedic treatment was given by different doctors without much of relief now this makes us understand that unless a right medicine in right potency with right repetition is not given you will not see the relief father history of tuberculosis grandfather vertigo grandmother diabetes hypertension with myocardial ischemia urinary tract infection maternal uncle diabetes 
and sister has loose stools. Past history, crying plus plus during the first year at night, used to sleep all night. Fever during teething, right-sided knee, tapping was done even in the childhood. There was a fissure in NO in 1984, followed by John Days, followed by Boyles. Now see the suppression. This is a complete case in which you will understand every aspect of homeopathic management. Friends, understand this. How the suppression, how the steroids affects the human system. Birth weight, six and a half pounds. Milestone, seven months. Talking, 11 months and completely talking by two years. Walking, 11 months. Breastfed only for two days that the breastfeeding stopped. Personal history, appetite, increased, better by eating, craving for spicy and sweets, aversion for vegetables. Urine has to wait, thirst plus plus, perspiration neck, head, sleep increased. All the family members were very anxious, but very cooperative. They gave a good history, very patiently, clearly, in spite of the suffering of the patient, there was a very characteristic symptom which was observed that in spite of all the suffering, I asked him, what is your wish now? He said, I want to succeed in life and I want to start working and going to work. That is my study. See the situation now. Evolutionary materia medica, here the patient with so much of pain, so much of suffering, he wants to go and study. Now, for a child, for a student, the work situation is what? Study, going to college. See how lycopodium is expressing at the work situation. At the family situation, he is very close to the family members and the society he is very social, mixing. So, all the three areas are affected. The mother and father were in London since 1957 and he has one brother who is 17 years old, one sister who is 14 years old. All these problems started in London when he was nine years, okay? He came to India. London, they advise us that it has to be operated because it's an ulcerative colitis and that would be colostomy. Just imagine a young child has to go through colostomy. So after coming back to India, he reported to one of the famous orthopedic surgeons. He was hospitalized for 26 days. He was asked about his ambition. So he replied, he said his only ambition was to go to school. Even in these circumstances, he suggested that he wanted to go to school. Since childhood, he was very short-tempered, very destructive, very mischievous. Used to break toys, break things. Used to hit everybody, especially father. Never could suppress any emotions. There was Mark shouting, when angry, gets angry, being scolded by anybody. Abusive, angry, very important. Sensitive when everybody used to scold him, cries after getting angry. Since illness was very, very bad, he would express it very clearly. In spite of all the sickness and all the discomfort, he had tremendous desire to go to school and study. Fastidious wants everything in order, doesn't like anybody to touch his things or disturb. He gets very angry, very curious about every small thing, hobbies. He was very fond of cars and motorbikes. He would love to have wonderful bikes and he said, my other ambition would be to earn a lot of money and have my own house and have multiple cars and motorbikes. He was very good at studies. He liked to read. He was interested in movie and he liked to travel. Dreams. 
dreams of fighting, dreams of school and dreams of eating, dreams of snakes, dreams of studying, dreams of buying a car. The suffering remained only at the physical level. His mind was very clear. See, friends, understand. We say the seventh dimensional. In this, the study of intellect, emotion and the spiritual. Here, the disease was constrained because of the strong willpower. There has been immunological disturbances. There has been issues. But it remained there. His mind was absolutely clear. Very sharp had no signs of confusion. The sharpness was phenomenal. It was like remedy talking to you. Understand this. This is what I'm talking, leaving Materia Medica. The remedy is talking to you. He's saying, give me this remedy. On examination, palms were warm, elbow right-sided, swollen, tinea, infection, Dark rings around eyes and throat mild infection. Teeth were yellow. Gums were swollen. Right hand weak. Right knee cold. Left knee hot. Plus plus swollen. The disease traveling from right to left. No cracking noise. As there was a lot of swelling. Patients pass history. And family history shows a strong background of tuberculosis, miasm, and hence to begin the treatment was tuberculinum. You see, there's a strong history of tuberculosis in the family. See the responses, erratic. See the pathology. See the separation. See, here the case completely expresses the entire homeopathic learning process. Just from this one case, you can learn complete aspects of homeopathic management. The other symptoms supportive of tuberculinum as a remedy, short-tempered, destructive, mischievous, Anger, inquisitive, desire to travel, and fungal infection. See, without a supporting evidence, you cannot prescribe. Okay? Abdominal pain plus three, aggravated by pressure, generalized tenderness, blood pressure 120, 80, abdomen left side, constant rubbing in the abdomen. The remedy which was given was tuberculinum 1M, 1 powder immediately. So even with that acute phase of expression, it was not acute. It was chronic phase which was expressing a fully blown picture. So acute medicine will not work. It had to be opened with antimasmatic remedy. And placebo is given every 15 minutes because he has to feel psychologically better. Again, the patient was seen practically daily, but I'll give you only limited number of follow-ups. Stool from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. were hard, more formed. See the effect of the medicine. Pain was plus plus, weariness, swelling, pricking pain, abdomen plus, perspiration plus three and chilliness. Chilliness because vitality is low. So repertorization shows a very clear picture of lycopodium. Rumbling sensation, stomach sensitive to pressure, constriction at the cramp in stomach, cutting pain in the stomach. See, even, even the characteristic symptoms, characteristic pain is covered by this. The patient was given lycopodium 30, 4 powders, 1 powder twice in a day. Due to pathological symptom of the case, lycopodium was given more frequently. 
stool decreased. Now 20 to 25 stool became 5 in such a short time. Watery plus plus pain in spots. Generalized feeling better. 21 stools. Again, see the response. This, the remedy could not hold on. Remedy could not hold on. So if you still give the same potency, it will not work. Okay. So the potency had to be increased. Okay. The stools were black and hard. Pain in the right sided joint, swelling 3. Weakness to laughter and fidgety. Pain in the abdomen is overall better. Lycopodium 200 is given. Again, you see, itching of the body. Now, when you give the right medicine, fidgety. Now, see the shift. Friends, understand the shift. The skin started coming up. From the deformities, from the inflammation, the eczematous, the skin started appearing. Fidgety, again, the mind, restlessness has come up. Soric restlessness has come up. And the patient was all right till 28, 587. There was a little recurrence because the patient had some injury and he took some other medicines. I don't know what medicine he took. And post that medicine, he started developing symptoms again. Flatulence plus plus, eructations plus plus, stiffness of the joints. After going to the thighs and spine, ach, the thighs and spine started aching, back pains. Anima was given, pain was too much. Pass stools with blood. Feels better when the stomach is empty. Sits in toilet for more than 10 minutes. So it was a recurrence and the patient was given like a 1M with lot of placebo. Okay, cannot pass. Gas has to be passed out with effort. Stomach feels hard. Intensity of the stomach pain is same, but the frequency is much more. Always rumbling sound in the stomach. Stool frequency is same. Stool soapy, semi-formed. Weakness, headache, pinpoint. Brain aggravated by talking. Other joints swollen and also side pain. So the patient is not feeling better. We had to repeat the lycopodium. See, after that, a lot of problems started after those medicines. Recurrence of the disease. Stool, nine per day. Weakness was better. Appetite was better. Fidgetiness was better. So, Lyco was continued. 23.10, much better. But, stools has to rush. Joints were better. Patient was kept on lycopodium. 30, 10, 87, stool at night, one or two has to rush. Three times per day, gas plus, weakness better, but still there, appetite plus three, pain in abdomen, aggravated before stool. Right knee pain, cold plus plus, since one week, watery discharge from the nose. So friends, the body is not able to hold on to lycopodium. Again, the disease is traveling to a next higher level. So you need to give a dose of tuberculinum, which will work as anti-miasmatic. Clear that phase, allow the lycopodium to act. See, in spite of lycopodium given, the patient did not feel better. That is the beauty now. You give tuberculinum. Again, in spite of that, the disease did not restrict. Marked weakness. The weight had increased, but marked weakness. 
So TUB, even TUB 1M was not working, we had to increase it to TUB 10M. Perspiration plus plus, weakness, pain in joints, slight two, three motion. Now we switch back to lycopodium. Friends, now the patient is in USA. Ordinary village boy becomes a businessman in USA. He can drive a sports car, rides a tractor, enjoys motorbike, married with children and lives a normal life. Friends, this is the effect of homeopathic medicine. We have covered the evolution and how the disease, miasmatic evolution, is reversed completely to a state of health. And as the vitality of the patient was good, he had a great life. What do we learn? How uh, advanced pathology can be reversed and patient can have a normal life? Role of constitutional medicine in pathologically advanced case? Management of acute exacerbation, okay? And the prescription was made so simple, which covered by the right remedy. The case was worked out from different repertories. This is where, so if your case is strong, irrespective of the repertory which you use, it will give you the right result. Getting good name for homeopathy with such result, okay? This brings us confidence in our practice. This also brings us clarity. So friends, one case has taught us many different aspects. The evolutionary materia medica, it has taught us asthmatic aspect, it has taught us medicine selection, potency selection, differentiation of the remedy and a complete case management.